So once your layout is all done and you got paint on the ground of where your posts are going to go, it's time to start digging your holes. Taylor's going to go over some of the details that go into that and then he's going to show you what a hole is supposed to look like once it's all finished and it's ready for a post to be set in it. First step in the process of getting any holes dug before you dig or anything, you want to call in your utility locates. Um, they will have them located within you within two days as long as you don't call on a Friday, but I would re recommend calling at least a week in advance. So after your layout is all done, all your paint is on the ground before you dig, if you're within three feet of any of those uh, gas, electric cable, doesn't matter, any of those locates, uh, I recommend you hand dig. Um, if you hit a locate, that could be cost you money and it's dangerous. So we just always hand dig within three feet of utility locates. Um, all of our regular line posts, we dig them two feet deep by one foot wide. And then all of our gate posts, we go three feet deep by one foot wide. Basically uh, what we have here is we have a hole that's been punched with our dingo, which is a machine we use to dig, and it's still got a bunch of loose dirt in it. You basically want to get all that loose dirt out by using your post hole diggers. And I usually set three to four full clam, full post hole digger full next to the hole, because um, we'll use that later when we're actually setting the post to pack around on top of the concrete to keep the post stable. So once you're done, you should have a nice little pile of dirt there and then all of the loose dirt should be completely out of your hole. And then you'll be ready to go ahead and drop your post in. And as you can see, we're dug two feet. Our routes are right at ground height, so we're, we're deep enough and we'll be ready to set this when we get done cleaning out the rest.